What's happening, Bone Sickle with chapter 13, Max Payne 3, hard difficulty, we're collecting every clue and every gold gun part along the way. When the chapter starts off, you are in the precinct and you got this enemy walking towards you. I like to let him walk completely towards me and uh, kill him with melee, because um, I just find that to be a lot more practical than trying to pop out and shoot him. Pick up his weapon and two of his buddies are coming out of that office right there. Do not let them surprise you. I killed one in the doorway, and the second one comes out, and you will get a bullet cam once you kill this guy. Body, body, head, body, body, head. And once again, we are also getting all of the uh, chapter-related trophies as we play. We have one in this chapter, which will be towards the end. I'll talk you through that. And uh, once you kill these three guys, you can run up into that office for two bottles of Percocets in a medicine cabinet uh, to your right. You're right, Max. There you go. Speaking of medicine, there is uh, some marijuana plants back there in the corner, but it's only 4 o'clock, so we'll come back in 20 minutes and check that out. And whenever you're ready, run through this gate. You trigger a cutscene, which you can skip. And uh, after that, we have our first collectible for Chapter 13. We're winding this up. And uh, you want to run through here and swing left for a gold gun part. Yes, sir. And... When you're ready, walk over here and look around to your left. You're going to see two guys who are not paying any attention to you at all. The guy on the left has a helmet, so shoot him first. But you have to shoot him twice because the first shot pops his helmet off. And see, he's getting back up. And I'm a moron. I didn't know. I, like, I didn't see him getting back up. So he started shooting me. So I got to eat one of those pain pills. And uh, anyway, make sure both of these guys are dead. Don't do like I did. Once they're dead, you can run in here and get this gold gun part. Because uh, we got a lot of collectibles just back to back pretty much. So anyway, once they're dead, you go grab that gold gun part uh, out of the showers or whatever. You can take a left up here and there's going to be another guy. Be ready for him. Sometimes he's right here in this uh, cage uh, cell or whatever. Sometimes he's further back where I'm pointing down that hall. Sometimes he's standing right there on the other side of that fence. So don't let him surprise you. Anyway, once he's dead... You can uh, go forward, and when you see this left, there's going to be two more guys up here, and you will get a bullet cam once you have killed the second of the two to let you know that this entire area is clear of enemies, zombie shot, and now before we proceed, uh, you can swing back and get another, uh, get a clue, who also happens to be a tourist, because uh, remember there's two trophies for tourists and clues. So Max is like, what you gonna do when you get out of jail? I'm gonna have some fun. And uh, we're gonna swing back around whether you needed the clues or not. Um, this is the uh, hallway right here where we just killed these two gentlemen. You wanna run down and go into the last cell on your right for a bottle of Vicodin. Pick that up and when you're ready, go through uh, this last door right here for another cutscene that you can skip and in this room the main thing that you need to watch out for is to make sure that no one flanks you make sure that uh, just keep watching to your right and your left and make sure that no one runs all the way up so close to you that they negate your cover you also want to watch for uh, which guns you have you're getting low on ammo because you don't want to get caught running out of ammo uh, especially if you're in a last man standing like I'm doing right here it happens to be a last man standing. I got shot and uh, auto-consumed a pain pill. Kind of hate it when that happens. But you will get a bullet cam once you have cleared this room. Like so. Put a hole in his face area. No, yeah. So once they're all dead, uh, this room right here has a bottle of lower tabs in it. In the medicine cabinet go ahead and snag those and now I'm just gonna run around and uh, suck up some ammo make sure that you've got really good ammo in your um, pistols before you go to the next section because uh, we're gonna swap out our long gun so it doesn't really matter what you have there once you get in this room there's another bottle of Darvis sets right there on that table and we have another clue so go over here to the laptop and examine that uh, Max needs to update his Facebook status and uh, check his email. And once you're done with that, we're going to trigger this uh, door to open up. When you go out there, um, 
we get the uh, M72. Yeah, the LAW, the uh, light anti-tank weapon, which we are actually turning gold in this chapter with the collectibles. So gobbled up a pain pill and walked outside and uh, you get to watch this little cutscene of these guys trying to blow up this armored truck. What's going to happen is uh, this armored truck is going to just keep shooting at you like bang, 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 bang. And when it stops, that's when you need to move. You do not pop out of cover at all, period. Wait for it to stop and then get up and run over here and take cover quickly because it will start shooting again. Now you can pick up the uh, light anti-tank weapon, uh, LAW M72, and wait again for another break. And when it stops shooting, shoot it. You can run over here and pick up another one. You only get one shot per unit for these. And as soon as the tank's blown up, this door is going to open down here. When it slides open, a bunch of guys are going to come out. If you aim low, you can uh, kill them. I'm not really sure how that explosion killed that guy, but uh takes out some of them. Because a bunch of guys come running out, and uh, they can overwhelm you if you're not careful. So now it's a good idea to switch to whatever pistol you had and uh, try to take out whoever's left. There is no bullet cam to let you know. Ooh, I shot him in the butt. <laughs> there is uh, no bullet cam. I w this happens to be a last man standing. It was not safe for me to run across. Um, do remember that everyone is wearing body armor. It kind of lets you get a uh, torso shot when it's a last man standing, but otherwise you really have to aim for the heads or the legs. And uh, when you're done, I run over here and I grab the grenade launcher. Um, please do that because it will immensely help later on in the chapter as you see in the next video and stuff. Just trust me. And uh, But you don't want to use it right now. So I'm going to switch back to a pistol. When you come down here, look to your right and you'll see these red doors. They will open and there will be an enemy to kill right back there behind the NPC wow, who comes running out. Nice so don't let him surprise you. And then we got another gold gun part right over here by the dumpster. Make sure you don't uh, neglect so pick that up and whenever you're ready you can hit up these steps when you go out into this alley look to your left you're going to see two guys who are not paying any attention to you and they got a third buddy uh to the left of them now it's a good idea to just switch to the grenade launcher and pop a grenade off down there i did not do that here and i started shooting them you do not get a bullet cam for this section either and once again uh i died and had to use the last man standing so that's what that was right there. Like I said, uh, you can spare a grenade lobbed down there. But right behind this wall behind you is another gold gun part. And as soon as you go through these next doors, you trigger a checkpoint, which leads us into the next video. I'll pick up that section in the video response. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you check that out.